Hi, this is Paul. Welcome to my spoilers review of It. I went to see it uh, today. Uh, I was so looking forward to this. Like I said, I saw, I saw the miniseries when it came on TV uh, back in the 80s or the 90s, whenever it was, <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I seem to remember reading the book, and I can't swear to this because I remember distinctly reading <laughs> about, you know, this how Stephen King, you know, because I, I think I saw the movie first, the miniseries, and then I think I read the book. I'm, I'm trying to remember because I, because I can remember the descriptions of when Georgie, you know, got his arm tore off and and all that stuff, and and it just really stayed with me. And that movie just it just always freaked me out. I, I always Tim Curry just g gave me that fear of clowns. <laughs> and it's because I should love Bozo the Clown, but it, after I saw Tim Curry, I just it just totally freaked me out with clowns. But anyway, this again is my spoiler review. And I have my phone here just so um, I have the names <laughs> of the kids, which I, uh, you know, just so I don't forget the names of the kids. Uh, but anyway, this movie is about, you know, these kids living in this town called Derry, uh, where, you know, kids are disappearing. And adults are disappearing as well. Uh, and, but the kids are disappearing at an alarming weight, <laughs> rate. And what I love about this movie primarily is the kid actors that they got to portray the, the uh, you know, the, the losers in the losers club. And I thought they were great. I thought, especially, you know, the actor that played Bill, uh, who's the stutterer, whose brother Georgie was the one who basically, you know, you see in the trailer who gets his arm ripped off. <laughs> and, and they showed that too, <laughs> yeah, because it happened in the book. He got his arm ripped off and, you know, and dragged down the sewer. And, it is. And the the actor who you know the young actor who played uh, Bill was I mean you could feel his loss I mean you could tell it, it haunted him and there's a there's a moment in the movie where he's where where he's he makes this big speech before they you know they get ready to lose get ready to go into the uh, to go into the house where Pennywise is <laughs> and he makes a speech where uh, basically telling him that he has to go and that he that you know that stay you know. He'd rather go in this house, this scary house, where he could possibly die than, you know, stop constantly having to go in his house where he has to see reminders of Georgie, little Georgie, his room and his toys and all that stuff. And he's basically haunted by his little brother's death because, you know, he was sick and he didn't go and his brother went missing. And and I really felt that from that kid actor, that, that love that he had for his, for his brother, Georgie, and him being, you know, him dying and, you know, how he, he kept trying to figure out a way that maybe Georgie was still alive, and you know, he, he there was a scene I think with him and his father in the garage where he was trying to figure out how the the sewers work and how if Georgie, you know, Georgie got swept down there, he could came out this way, and it was just kind of heartbreaking because his father's you know shutting it down, and telling him to you know pull the stuff down, and and you know you don't want your mother to see this, and but you could feel the pain his character felt from losing his brother, and the kid actor they got to play Georgie, he was just so cute and. And you felt his loss, and you felt, and, I, and that's the thing about kid, kids getting kids in movies, especially in horror movies, when kids get hurt. That's that's the one thing I, I can see the adults get chopped up all the time, but when little kids get hurt, that just really affects me. That really just you know, this makes me this it really breaks my heart. And they actually show, and you felt for Bill, and because Georgia, you know, he loved Georgia, and there's a scene at him where at towards the. You know, the the conclusion of the movie where he's well bill's you know talking to you know georgie which is really pennywise and he's you know he's he's basically pouring his heart out and and then bill's telling him how much he misses him and but you know and then he, he says well but you're not you know but you're not georgie and he shoots him that that that, that, that interaction that little interaction right there just really literally broke your heart and and that's why i say that the actor who played bill was you know, who's the stutterer, he just really, he really got to me. And he, that's, again, it, all the kid actors I thought, did an excellent job. They were, they were well cast. And then um, Beverly, the actress that played Beverly, who, you know, she's living with a father who's, let's say, is molesting her, okay? And she, of course, she, she has a bad reputation around town from the, you know, the, from the, you know, from the, the bullies and stuff. And she has to deal with that and, and, and there's a great scene where she, you know, she's cutting off her hair to, you know, to try to look different and just change her outlook. And, but there was a great scene of her when she, 
when she, when you first see her acting the second time, I guess we see her where she's talking to Ben and Ben is like in the back of the school with a science, I look like a, a, a science project or whatever it is. And he's basically hiding out <laughs> and she has a conversation with him and, and she actually talks to him as a real person. And you can tell that's, you know, where he, you know, he has a crush on her because he, you know, he mentioned that they're in social studies together. So he obviously has a crush on her, but she's just genuinely nice to him and telling him that the bullies are already gone. So it's okay. And, and, and you could tell from that little, that little interaction right there that she's generally a nice person. Just she's living in horrible circumstances and has to deal with this, you know, with her father, abusive father, and the and the kids around school that thinking that she's a slut and the jealous girls and all that stuff and stuff. She has to, and I thought the actress and she handled it very well, especially and then you know her you know developing you know feelings for 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 Bill and. And you know, being a good friend to the other losers, I thought she was excellent, and I can't wait to see who they cast as the grown-up Beverly. I thought she was great, and you, the other characters I don't want to talk about them too much, but there were great, uh, great characters. Let's see, the, you know, the actor who played the guy the, whose mother—I forgot his name, so forgive me for that. Uh, the one who was getting basically getting placebos from his mother, who was babying him and being overly protective of him, and. <laughs> And I thought he was great because he was afraid of, he was a, a germaphobic and afraid of everything. And I thought he was great the way he just explained everything. And then also the the actor who played uh, with the glasses, who was from Stranger Things, who was playing the guy who was always making wisecracking and, and telling the jokes. I thought he was great <laughs> in this movie as well. Is is the, basically the sarcastic guy and who's telling all the, always telling the jokes and making jokes. And there's a great scene towards the end of the movie. Uh, where basically Pennywise has Bill and he's getting ready and basically telling the other kids, just go ahead and leave. Let me just take my tasty snack of Bill and let me leave. <laughs> and you can, and you can have, uh, y'all can free and I'll be gone for another 27 years. And, and he picks up, and he basically makes the speech, tells Bill all the reasons why he hates him for dragging him into this and all this other stuff. And then he says, and now I'm going to have to kill this clown <laughs> because he, and he takes the bat and just whacks the crap out of, Pennywise, and you know, which which just shows he, he, you know, even though he resents Bill for dragging him into all this, you know, he still he made that decision that he's not going to be kind of type of friend that's going to abandon his friends, okay? And and so his performance was great to me. And uh, I'm trying to think of the other kid. There was the other uh, the kid that was uh, the, the religious, the Jewish kid. Uh, and you didn't get that. Much. I mean, you got a little thing. He had this disturbing visions of the painting and the wall coming to life. And, and harming him, uh, uh, I thought you know he, he was good. He was like a silent guy. He didn't talk that much, but you could tell he has things going on. So I thought he, that kid was was good. He didn't have that much to do. And then also there was uh, character of Mike, the only black kid. Uh, the only and the only negative thing I guess to me in this movie is that they tuck away. They gave Ben the research part, which in the book I understand Mike is the one who does the research and he's actually when he grows up is he stays in town Mike and actually becomes a librarian and he's the only one that actually remembers Pennywise and he's the one that gets everybody back together when they reunite 27 years later but they kind of took that away the research part and gave it to Ben because uh, Ben I understand in the book he loses weight and he becomes an architect uh, when he grows up but I don't know if they'll so maybe they'll change it around and maybe they'll have Mike be the one to leave town and become an architect and come back and Ben will be the one that will remember everything. So maybe they're going to change that around. But Mike, uh, he didn't have that much to do. I mean, his thing was, you know, you know, you see in the trailers where he's telling the kids about what his grandfather told him, this town's cursed and everything else. And and But I did like how each character got introduced to each other. I mean, there was, I think, the four main friends, I think. And then, or was it, yeah, the four main friends, and then Beverly, and then Ben, and then Mike, you know, got drawn into the losers group, you know, they all came together basically defending each other. And I, that part I like, I liked, and like I said, the act, the acting was just absolutely fantastic, especially from kid actors. I thought it was, they were really, they were believable. Uh, you didn't look at them and say, oh, these kids are totally acting. To me, they felt completely natural and it just really uh, made it that much more terrifying when, when Pennywise <laughs> attacked. And like I said, Bill Skarsgård was, just freaky. I mean, he just he 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 played a great version of Pennywise. He just was just disturbing, 
and weird looking and, and like I said, he had that bunny type of look. But he was he was he was scary. He was legitimately scary and terrifying at the same time and just ah and then oh the the moment I I, I forget that moment when after Bill uh you know, we're then the then the the conclusion of the film where they're you know, they're in the in the house and they're when Bill makes the speech, you know, telling Georgie basically how he misses him and everything, and, and, and then he shoots him in the head with a cow gun pistol that Mike has. Uh, and then you see little Georgie start shaking badly, which really just was just really disturbing. And then he metamorphoses into Pennywise. And just that, another part that just totally freaked me out. Just, ugh, just, it just tucked me to another level of freakiness. I said, ah, that's just disturbing on every level, okay? Ugh, this, that was just, Freaky and again, the kids, the kids and their acting made this movie to me. And even the kid that played the bully, he, uh, I think his name is Mike Bowers. I think not Mike Bowers. Uh, what's his name? Oh, hold on. It was uh, Henry Bowers. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Henry Bowers, who was the bully, who basically carved his. He's gonna. He carved his H into Ben's name. He's gonna basically carve the whole thing across his, his stomach. He was. He was just—he was another freaky kid. But well, I mean, he just—he seemed to be just mean for no reason. And then you actually see his father, who was actually was the sheriff in town, and he actually, you know, fired a gun at it on his feet a couple of times. And I think the line was, he tells his friends, uh, and of course, you know, Henry, you know, freaks out about that, and he goes when he tells his friends, now you see how you want to see how a paper tiger really reacts. I think or something about. Basically, how uh, you know how his son is a, a basically a coward, okay? And if you stand up to him, they, they see how he crumbles. <laughs> and then, so when Pennywise kind of influences <laughs> Henry to kill his father with that knife, you know, giving him the knife that he lost, and he just pops in his neck, and ah, uh, that was again really good acting from the kid. And ah, uh, again, I know the, I think that kid, uh, the character, uh. I think in the book he gets blamed for the for the murders, and he plays a bigger part in the second half of the movie when they're growing up. But I know this one you see Mike, you know they have a fight, and Mike pushes him down the well, and you see him hitting the sides left and right. So I don't know if they're going to change it around or maybe have him be paralyzed or something, and then still get blamed for everything. But we'll see how that you know plays out. So maybe they will cast his character as an older guy who's probably he's bitter still and. And you know, been accused of the murders if they oh they take his character out and just say that he died or something because he kind of hit when he fell down that well he hit you know, on going down he hit look like he hit side to side to side I don't know how he could survive that but you never know but anyway uh, overall again this movie was uh, again this movie to me it lived up to expectations it totally did and it just really uh, brought a a smile to my face I think I could say that a smile to my face and, and that it 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 delivered what it promised. Okay, that's what it did. It delivered what it promised, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I can't highly recommend it enough. And if you see my spoilers review, if you follow the link to my spoiler review, I gave it a nine spoiler-free review on my other channel, Paul uh, Trey Passer. I gave it a nine out of ten. I definitely stick to that. One of the best movies of the year. Kudos to the again to the young actors who played their parts to me excellently. I think it was well written and directed, uh, and I just. I can't recommend it enough. It just it lived up to the expectations, and I can't wait to own this movie, and I can't wait to see the sequel when they have the grown and see who they cast as the grown up uh, characters and stuff. I know I was looking at uh, Grace Randolph's. Uh, she was saying uh, casting ideas, and uh, uh, for the grown up Bill, she wanted um, what's his name, Jason Bateman. I thought that's great casting. Jason Bateman, I think, is great, and I think Amy Adams would be a gr good grown up Beverly. I think because I think she looks like her. I think she played the actress who played uh, Beverly in this movie played a young Amy Adams in a different movie. So I think that would probably be a logical thing. Or Jessica Chastain maybe is growing up Beverly. I can't think of the other characters. I know they would, you know, who could be the other characters. Uh, but I know she was saying other uh, kind of like Sterling Brown as grown up Mike, which I think is a good choice anyway. But the other characters, I would have to think about it long and hard before I come up with who I think grown up, you know, or if they're going to cast unknowns, who knows, but I think they'll probably cast act, name, name actors and stuff to, for the for the parts, and I can't wait to see who gets cast as who. Uh, I think that's going to be great. And uh, again, 
The movie is disturbing, but greatly acted. Oh. I, I, again, these kids, I thought, did a great job. And the kids and the casting, I think, is the key to this movie. I think it just, because you believe in these kids, you, you, you ache for these kids, and you hope for these kids. And again, the little actor who played Georgie, just again, he just broke your heart. Just literally broke your heart. And you just, and again, Bill, you felt his loss. I mean, he just, that, that just, it, it devastating. That's why I said that speech he made in front of the house where he tells him the other losers, listen, I'd rather go into this house and, and try to end this than go, go back to my house and constantly be reminded of my little brother who I love, who I couldn't help. Who's, who's dead and I, it haunts me. And he just, and that's why he had that resolve to do that. He, he had to end it. He just had this resolve and, and you, and you felt it. You, and you felt it all through the movie. Okay. And I did think the love triangle, I think was believable too, as well, because, uh, again, Ben had the crush on, uh, Beverly, of course. And, you know, he wrote the poem and stuff and, and had the postcard for her. And I think, and she was generally nice to him and, uh, and, but, you know, Bill, you could tell Bill at first, you know, you could tell Bill, you know, you know, you could see Bill, you know, of course, developing the crush on her and stuff and, and, and them generally getting along, you know, and I think I know how it came, if I remember well, how it comes out in the book, I think if I remember it well, maybe I'm wrong, maybe someone can correct me, I think when they grow up, I think she, she eventually goes with, with Ben, I think. Because I think John Ritter's character in the miniseries uh, plays a grown-up Ben, and I think and then too, of course, was Beverly. And I think she, because I, I remember a scene of them driving off together in a car. Okay, so I think that's what ha I think she winds up with with Ben. I think in the in the end, I think that's how how it happens. So somebody can remind me down this, and, and the things because I have the miniseries. I mean, I can look, pop it up, and look. But I think that's the way you know she ends up with. Ben. But even though I know, you know, you know, they have a mutual thing, Bill and, and Beverly, but I think she winds up with Ben at the end, I think. That's the way it works. But anyway, let me know uh, what you think of uh, it. What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. If you like this spoilers review, please hit the subscribe, subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram, as well as my other, my main channel, Trey Pastor, where you see a spoiler-free review of it in the description box. Please check that out as well. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.